This is Topaz's Vapor Tight Light Fixture. This light fixture has many features that I'd like to explain. It has a long life, it is high efficiency, durable construction, which is very important, has a high impact lens, and it has the heat sink on the outside, which allows it to dissipate the heat as needed. This light fixture is DLC, premium qualified. It's rated for wet location, dust tight, and vapor tight. So when you purchase this four foot fixture, I want to review what comes with the light. In order to power up this light fixture, it comes with a six foot power cord. The unique part about the light is that this light has a power inlet and a power outlet, which allows you to go ahead and bring power to the fixture, as well as jump out to additional light fixtures without having to get inside of the fixture. The other pieces that come with it are the mounting brackets. It comes with two mounting brackets. These mounting brackets can be used to mount on the surface or they can be suspended. Additional accessories that you would utilize to hang your fixture suspended would be the aviation cables. By purchasing the aviation cables, it would allow you to suspend your lighting fixture from the brackets that come with your lighting fixture. Other accessories when installing multiple light fixtures adjacent to each other, you would utilize a lighting fixture coupler. This coupler would go over two fixtures. When your fixtures are installed, physically mounted, now you have to wire them. This one foot power cord allows you to wire in the adjacent light fixture as simply as putting it to the lighting fixture output and then installing it into the lighting fixture input of the next consecutive light. So it is very easy to use. It is major labor savings because it allows you to move that much faster through your lighting installation. Here in this HVAC lab, we chose to install this four foot fixture for the reasons of upgrading our lighting. So we had to find a lighting fixture that was suitable for the environment. When we install a lighting fixture, you have to be able to maintain your building. Our existing T8 light fixtures we had, they were maintenance heavy, changing ballasts, changing lamps. So by switching over to this fixture, I was able to benefit from the better lighting. I was also able to benefit from lower maintenance. So today I want to show you how we chose to do the installation with this lighting fixture here at the HVAC lab. So while getting ready to put up your lighting fixtures, planning is very important. As you see here, I have laid out my two brackets per lighting fixture onto the mounting surface. So spacing and securing my brackets is going to allow this process to go very smoothly and quickly. So this is my last bracket I'm going to mount. I'm mounting this onto three quarter inch Kindorf using a quarter 20 screw and a fender washer. So this lighting fixture here, it is important to make sure you plan where the power is going to start and then where you're going to jump out to your other fixtures. So the power inlet is located next to the lighting fixture nameplate. So I'm going to install this onto the two brackets that came with the lighting fixture. I'm going to line up the end of the clip with the channel on the lighting fixture. I'm going to press into it and allow it to snap in place. Okay, so now that lighting fixture is held in place, but there is a screw that allows you to tighten it in place to make sure it's even more secure. Being sure to check that they are all the way tight, making sure the bracket is seated flat. This fixture is now securely fastened. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the second lighting fixture. Once again, the two brackets are already installed. I'm going to line up the channel on the lighting fixture and I'm going to snap it in place. When installing your lighting fixture end-to-end -end coupler, we have to make sure, as we said, the lighting fixtures are installed level and even. But the power cord is very important because leaving the first fixture is the output. That's giving power to the second light fixture. So you have to make sure that your plugs are lined up correctly. Now, take your coupler and put it over the top of your fixture. 
Be sure to line up the channel so that it sits correctly. So don't be afraid to press down and make sure it's secure. And now you heard it clip in. So it is being held right now, but we're going to secure it by pressing down on these levers. The end-to-end -end coupler is now installed and these fixtures are perfectly lined up and level. So now take your one foot power cord and plug it into the first fixture and secure it down with the connected threading. And now plug in your second fixture. Now that you've installed your end-to-end -end coupler and you have your one foot power cord installed, you can continue this process to add the lights as you need but please make sure you follow the instructions. There are limitations to the amount of lighting fixtures based on their voltage and based on their wattage. Now we have the lighting fixtures installed. We need to bring power to the lighting fixtures. So we have our junction box where our switch leg is waiting. So we're going to use the six foot power cord that came with our lighting fixture to complete this job. So as you see here, I have the six foot power cord supported going into the junction box where I have the equipment ground, the neutral, and the hot connected. I am now going to install the plug. And I was never exposed to any live parts and it's a safe and quick installation. And now we turn on the lights and as you can see the lights themselves re really illuminate the area, take away any dark shadows, any uh, chance for uh, a dangerous situation. So now I'm happy with the installation. I'm also happy with the amount of light that I have.